right, brew time over. Oh, this is the hard bit. We're not all set. Let's do this. There's probably no lintel. So, right, just after six. We are done. Good Wednesday morning. We skipped a day yesterday because of the weather. Today's not looking brilliant. Wednesday the 19th of July. That one goes away on the 23rd, Sunday. That's Sunday, yeah. Leave me on my own again. Do we need to get this done? Yeah. Oh. Right, quick recap. I'll do it from down here because I can't go up and down the ladders. There you go. So, Monday morning, Monday afternoon, we got all that ripped out. <clears throat> Got the old scabby lintel out, so that's all ready to put back now. So, yeah, so wind has got to come out, we've got to get the brickwork up first, then the lintel. So, wind about all the three quarters and halves to be taken out with the uh, sawzall, and then crack on with that. Hopefully, we're going to crack on and get that done in half a day. That's the plan, but we'll see. And then we've got this one, this one's a bit more straightforward. That's window out and brick up to that little window. That's all that needs doing on that. No messing around lintels or anything. Because there's obviously a lintel already in there, so we don't need to do anything with that. <coughs> so, I'll um, put you to one side while we get set up. And um, van's parked in the middle of the street there. But that's the best place we can get it. Can't put it on the drive because we can't get in and out of the van if we put it on the drive. Oh yeah, there's the... Um, Double acro. So we'll come down onto a strong boy and then down onto an acro. And then the other one is just onto a strong boy in the wall. So it's about quarter to eight. So we're going to get all the gear set up and then start making a noise at eight o'clock. So we'll catch you in a bit. We're up. There's the original bricks under there, covered up. Here's the other original bricks. I just put these, wedge these underneath just to take the uh, pressure off the strong boys. But uh, yeah, oh yeah, I've got that bit to point back up as well. The hell have only climbed up a ladder. <sighs> so yeah, there's where it's lifted. The whole thing's lifted, but it's not going to settle back down again. So <clears throat> wind is going to come out, which is <clears throat> same as the front one, that one down there, not even fixed in, no fixings in it at all. So I'll just pull that out. And then um, take out these three quarters and halves. It's no use taking the halves out because then you're leaving the three quarter in the wall, which is no good because if it weren't brick, I'd leave it in, but it doesn't. So, so yeah, get this window out and get cracking. Right, we're on time lapse, but I forgot to press record anyway, so I missed it. So this thing just, just slid out the wall. No. No, no there's not even any silicon left on this side. Well, none on that side. The silicon just peeled off. There's no fixings in it whatsoever. No mechanical fixings. So, I don't know what these things are. I think that's a wing and that's a prayer. So it's held in with a wing and a prayer. It's unbelievable that. It's great for us. But um, it's just... not good if it's your windows. No. So what we're going to do is, we're going to try and get it back into the house through the hole and then we'll take it downstairs between us. It's, got, it's too dangerous to take down the ladder. Oh, yeah. And if that's not going to, it's not going through that hole then we'll deglaze it. Take it down that way. So, have we got any, um, have we got the um, screwdriver? It's got two really sharp metal brackets on the ends. No. Which are going to slice us up if we don't take them off. I didn't bring a screwdriver. Got a hammer. No, they're not going to squash back in then. Let's see. Yeah, look at them things. They slice through anything then. Yeah. Yeah, they're like serrated as well. Yeah. What are they from? I think they're like, you push them into the brickwork and it stops it pulling back out. Ah. But obviously it doesn't stop it pulling back out, so I've just pulled it out. Yeah, still, still not sealed to the brickwork. Just plonk down on some uh, foam, I think, and... A bit of a uh, bit of sand and cement. So usually the frame is fixed to the sill as well, and it's sealed. 
so proper cowboy job on the windows so let's see what we can do here Time's it now? That's uh, 8.52. Yeah, not even nine yet. Yeah. Not that's bad. bad. I don't even know what time I said it started, but that's that's gone really quick. Yeah. So there's all flies to it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, there's all done. And it was, uh, as I showed, it was a half and a three quarter. So we had a three quarter there, then a three quarter and a half. So we took it back to full brick, even though the bomb isn't brilliant. Yeah, on there. We're just going to pull that. I think it works out three quarter on our bit anyway, so it just means the three quarters are going to get bigger as it comes up in. Perhaps nice and straight, and then it steps back. And it goes a bit wonky, and then this one's out. But as always, Bricklayer will get over it. So Alex has got me a few brick up. Have you shown them? Oh yeah, tie wires curled up because of the window. Obviously, there's a bit of touching up to do on this because there's a window in the way. But. Uh, you probably seen on the video the window went through the window hole and down the stairs in, in one piece so that's good nice one Alex so I'm going to get organised up here now get all the tools put down there out of the way get these bricks stacked up for it above there and get the new bricks stacked down here for this section I think there's about 45 bricks to go in here and then once we're organised and everything's come through the window we can get the just the other side of those bricks as the window frame ready to go in here and get fixed in and we can build it in which is going to save us a lot of time again thanks to Robbie but yeah no fixings whatsoever in there nothing it was held in by silicon and that silicon wasn't very good so he's done himself a favour getting rid of that window yeah the other window seems a bit tougher yeah yeah we'll just get the saws all and that we have to so back to time that's why we get it all organised here you just want to Check stack those bricks minute. up, I can keep it. Good thing is, as well, I can just bring these up the stairs now, no faff them out of the scaffold. Yeah, no mess around the ladder. Not nice bringing things up a ladder. You're I'm not, not uh, supposed to anyway. I'm not skilled in hod carrying because uh, it's a bit just, uh, just before my time. Our hods haven't got sta stays on them. We've got, a, <laughs> we've got a mortar hod and a brick hod, but they're, they're retired. Semi retired, they're in the garden ready for action just in case. Yeah. You never know. You never throw them away. Right, back to it. Time ups, get on.
We're about to baptize our new toy today. We've got the SDS sent over to us the other day. And every time we've been here, we keep forgetting to use it. So now, this is our new uh, 12 volta. 12 volta. Our new tie driller. Or in this case, grab a driller for the uh, template to go in. So, oh, one sec. You missed. So, my plan is I'm going to get the rest of the bricks up. We need 40 more brick. And then, while I get a mix on, Dad is going to get the template drilled in. It's great, this thing. You'll be seeing plenty of tactical reloads with this soon, I promise you. But that's the plan, so I'll get these bricks up and then Dad can get that whacked in, and then we can get started. I could have come up the stairs with that. Right, watch out. Oh, then. Is the pack is in that toolbar box? The pack is. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure. Just consult her. Uh, no packers, no. Okay. Oi, um, no, no, there's not. Got everything in here but packers. Ah. Catch you in a bit. In. Solid, a couple of grabbers, one at the bottom there, and it's pushed up against the plaster. Gives a nice little gap above to get our little over the top, and we're just going to build up to it. There's my bond, nice big three quarter, so that's good. We took the little three quarter out from down there and put a big three quarter in there, so that's better. It's all, I'll knock a few of these snots off and throw a few holes, fill a few holes up when I'm, as I'm going. I've got my insulation, got my line up. Got my mortar, got my cushion for the low courses. I'm going to put a little short plank in this section here just where I get this bit in, and yeah, that's it. I'm going to get cracking. Oh, it's currently in the van. So, uh, yeah, he's been up and down all day, up and down the lads with the bricks, so up and down the stairs until we put that in. So, yeah, we're going to have a quick break now, and we're going to get cracking after break. Big push today to try and get both windows to done, but I'm pretty sure we can. Might be a late one, but we're booked in for tomorrow on another job. So, we'll catch you after break. There's the inside view. <clears throat> Just come up the stairs, so. This will all be bricked up. Right down the side. That's the plan. Just gonna get this camera on charge. Right, brew time over. Oh, this is the hard bit, going up ladders. Oh. oh god. All loaded out. I just need my little plank that Charlotte can get me after he's been on the toilet. There's my gloves. So, ah, whole set. Let's do this.
So, Dad's had to nip to berries. <laughs> As usual, we always have to nip somewhere. We're one bag of sand short. Well, technically we're half a bag of sand short for a full mix because we've used up our half and we've still got quite a bit to go here. And there's like about 70 brick to do on the other window. So I'm just gonna put a full mix in and get, get where that takes us. But I think it's gonna be a late one today. We've got this the other window and then Fix, we're having a little Q&A podcast with Fix Radio in the afternoon so I think uh, I think we'll be seeing seeing dusk tonight one of those things isn't it so we'll get this camera on charge and when dad comes back I'll um, throw you back up here right five to one got me cavity tray cut Alex is currently probably his dinner we're having a staggered dinner today. I've just been to Berries to pick up some more sand. So we've got a full mix in. While he's put the mix in, I've had my, I've had my dinner. A bit of a belch there. So I'm going to get up here now. He's already put the mortar up for me and get this thing cracked off. Then um, get around the back to start on that back window. So we're definitely going to be late tonight. There's a lot of messing about to do yet. Acros to come down, things to point up, tidy up. So we've already resigned ourselves to the fact we're staying late because we've got to be finished here today. No, no, no we're so but next job is already penciled in for tomorrow and Robbie and Robbie want to get on this tomorrow. So here we are, we're up to nearly up to the lintel before we run out of mortar. Everything's in the lintel, uh, insulation, brickwork's nearly up. Um, yeah, not a lot to do but a lot of faffing about as usual. So I'm going to get my tray under here, which is very handy, which is here, so I've just cut it rough and then unfortunately we've had to postpone our interview with Izzy on Fix Radio because we need to push on with this job. If we do that we're going to be too late. So let's get this, um, get this finished.
Right. Well, that's disappointing. 20 to 3, we haven't even started the other window yet. But we're here and we're going to get it done. There we go. One reduced window. A nice small landing window now. And then brickwork and new lintel over this with the uh, wheat vents. Oh yeah, it's all, all pointed now so it's all safe, it's all waterproof. So now we can head over there and get that done. Shame we can't put a plank here, else. Well, right, see you over there. I've got the window out. Right. The wind is out and the soldiers are all out. Right. Yeah, a few more than we need to be, but... Just a bit of toothing to do then. Just your toothing, yeah, so you got to move this thing. Right. But okay. Other than that. Let's get over there. Goddamn ten past three. Yeah, ten past three. I haven't even started yet. So I've got one, two, three, four, five hours to get out. Not a problem. I've got this joint to take out because we've discovered there's no lintel. So customer said he wanted a lintel and I said it didn't need it because I thought it was, it was like your normal detail where your window went up to your soffit. So I've um, just shot across to berries and got us a 750 hang line. So I'm going to take this joint out and slide the angle up and slide it in, fit the frame and then the jobs are good and then build up underneath it this side. So that's the plan. So first thing is get all these two out. Second thing is get this, ang this angle iron in. It doesn't need train vents above because it's stuck underneath the soffit. So we're all good. So let's get into this and get a train going before it goes dark.
Okay. Quick update at ten past five. Thought it was later than that, so that's not too bad. Wind is in. I fixed him a couple of grabbers. Lintel's in, as you can see there. Just needs pointing at that end. Um, it's all square, all plumb. Bottom bits. I've just got to point this bit before it gets too dry. So I've got three courses to go in. I'm already took points across the top. And then it doesn't matter that there's no lintel anymore. So it's all safe. Customs made up with a lintel in that. He was a bit horrified there's no lintel in it at all. Which is a bit weird. You see there's no lintel in that one because the brickwork's gone on that one. See the big smile over the top of the window? That's not good. So, yeah, I'm going to point up this little bit now. Get that bit of tuning done and then crack on. I'm sorry there hasn't been much filming done today but it's been a big push to get this all finished today. So we can get on this and we can get on to our next job tomorrow. So I'll put you somewhere else and just carry on. Catch you in a bit. Right, just after six, we are done, just tidying up, I was just pointing up the um, strong boy holes that we had in the wall, there you go, all done, so there's a nice small window, like I said, I think there's a shower cube could go in here, so they reduced the window, the window was knackered as well, so Alex did a good job getting the window out, taking all the brick and edge out, so we replaced all the brick and edge with nice straightforward brickwork. Got a new lintel in here, which you'd never know because we've got it in nice and stealthily. Yeah, that, oh, it's only got three quarters of brickable bit. Now that's going nowhere because obviously that's solid because it's all tuck pointed, it's got a lintel under there. So that's it. Just to get all the crap down, get the mixer cleaned and get cleaned up down there below where I am now. A long but satisfying day and we're done. So we're not coming back to Leyland tomorrow. We're off to Rainford, which is a bit close to home, on um, some brickwork on an extension, which is another one. The uh, extension was built on top of a, a stone garden wall. <laughs> so uh, we'll see that tomorrow. It's all knocked down and concreted, ready for us to start. So we'll be there in the morning. I'll let Alex do his little outro when I get down there. In the meantime, I'm going to get all this crap off this scaffold and start getting the van. One, two. Three. And I think it's like quarter to seven, so we're starving. <laughs> But that has been those windows done up, bricked up, reduced, everything, what have you, all your, all your bits and bobs. But this uh, battery is low, so I'm going to have to make this quick. So 
Thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to give us a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel and you want to see more, be sure to hit subscribe and tap on that bell. That way you'll always be notified when we upload. Always a massive help and we greatly appreciate the support. This is a very tired and hungry Steve and Alex. And we'll see you in the next one.